Hello friends, welcome to Friday 5 and in this week we will see 5 rendering file formats for VFX production. So let's start. So first thing first, what is rendering? Oh, so rendering is a process where your scene is complete, you make the model, you texture it, you animate that and uh, you lit that properly and after that you are ready for creating a movie out of that, right? From your 3D scene. But it's not a good idea to render a complete movie from your 3D software because there is some post-production work which should be happen in, in the process of compositing. There you will do some color corrections, maybe some adding some effects like depth of field and other things, motion blur and all. So you always render uh, your 3D scene into uh, files, uh, separate files, right? So these file format, what it should be, so we'll discuss uh, those file formats that is uh, good for uh, VFX rendering okay and also we'll cover which are the standard file format which is using in our industry uh, for films and tv shows production so let me start with the 3d software and we'll see that how many file formats are available in that so here i have a 3d software that is blender and um, here we'll see for example and if I go to the render tab and if I see here you can see this PNG thing and also this is these are the file formats to save the rendering image okay so this is the list of file format which blender support but uh, these formats uh, these file formats are uh, widely used in uh, all 3d and 2d software so you can find out all these uh, file formats everywhere so let me discuss a uh, few uh, passes uh, that's uh, images file format that i'm going to discuss today so first uh, we'll start with the open exr and uh, then we'll see the dpx and uh, then tiff png and jpeg so these five uh, file formats that we are going to discuss today okay so let's start and one more thing uh, i'm for this demonstration i'm using blender but these file formats can be found in any 3d package like maya houdini and uh, any uh, image editing softwares like photoshop and gimp okay so you can follow along with me so we'll start five rendering file format number one open exr so open exr is a high dynamic uh, range images uh, which is developed by industrial lights and magic which is uh, a, a vfx studio okay and uh, this is a very high dynamic range so the color precision will be very good in that so it's very uh, ideal for compositing also the uh, the exr supports 32 bit floating point in, uh, data in your render image so you will have more information in your file it will be good for compositing and uh, the best thing in open exr is uh, this this file format supports multiple passes so in a single file you can render it out like uh, occlusion shadow pass uh, reflection pass beauty uh, depth all file uh, passes information can be contained in one single file so that's very good okay so you can easily manage all your renders and uh, composer for composer also it's very easy they can just use a composting note uh, maybe in nuke or after effects there are uh, options available to extract the information from the exr file okay so it's pretty good for compositing when you have multiple passes information and uh, this features comes with the uh, maximum flexibility in compositing and also uh, this uh, exr is uh, uncompressed and uh, also you can find the lossless compress and compression data available in this okay exr is open source file format and it's written in c++ so there is a very big chances you can uh, take the partition in the 
development side and also you can contribute with this uh, this tool and also you can integrate that some additional features if you have that programming experience you can use it according to your needs or your production needs so it's very good to fit in your production pipeline there are some uh, tools also available for that you can check it out the open exr website okay so there are this uh, file format is widely used in film productions and majorly all the studios are using uh, open exr okay but the only downside i found is is the file size is uh, very uh, large so in the uh, for the storing part if you want to store that large amount of passes in your disk it's very expensive in in top of that okay so this is for uh, open exr now let's move to next file format dpx dpx stand for a digital picture exchange and it's a common file format for digital intermediate and visual effects work All right so it's uh, originally derived from codex Sinion open file format that is dot sin and used for a digital image generation by codec original film scanner so previously the films which is shoot by the the film reel and they converted that with their scanner film or film scanner to uh, digital images right so it's uh, uncompressed and you can uh, use this so the, the image is uncompressed so it's better you can there are a lot of flexibility to you you can make sd hd 2k and 4k whatever resolution you need you can make out of dpx and this for file format also preserved uh, linear to log information which is good when you are uh, uh, passing your compositing from one uh, from one department to another department for like color correction and other things okay and uh, it's a great deal of flexibility to storing information that's also covered in that because you you have uh, uncompressed data more information in your file more pixel information more color information so it's very good for uh, compositing and this file format is uh, very commonly used in the live action production so yeah and dpx also allow the wide range of uh, metadata information so you can store that information and use that in your uh, production pipeline and if you have any tools to extract that information you can use it that according to your needs and also the downside is the file size is bigger so you need to manage your storage disk according to your production need so this is for dpx now let's move to our next file format tiff tiff stand for tagged image file format i can say that it's very affordable file format with four channel rgba that stand for red green blue and alpha it's uh, widely supported by image manipulation application like photoshop game krita and also it's uh, it, uh, tiff also have the ability to store image data in lossless format so that's make tiff uh, useful to image archive so that's why you will have uh, less smaller file size compared to exr and dpx but you will get uh, uh, the same amount of value approximate the same amount of value because the tiff is using lzw compression and this is a lossless data compression technique for reducing the file size so it's better to you can use tiff for also rendering and majorly in 3d production for 3d uh, production you can use this file format right and uh, this can be compressed to reduce the file size using mathematical algorithms such as chip and tar without loss of image data that is very good for production because you will have more clear precise information for uh, color correction image enhancement in your post-production software and tiff can embed color spaces profiles as well as itpc metadata so this also have a lot of information with a file format and that also you can use for extracting the information from your renders so use all you can also use this software all right 
Now let's move to our next file format. PNG Portable Network Graphics You probably you see this often in uh, websites because this uh, is very small file size and lossless data compression right this uh, PNG file uh, can support it at depth range from 1 to 64 bit per channel so the quality can you can find the quality will be good and uh, this because the file size is uh, less and uh, and the, you can find the more color value and also uh, you can get the transparency with that PNG file so this is widely used in the websites uh, you see uh, oftenly in websites most of the images are PNG okay that's good for our web websites and uh, because the PNG uh, offer a variety of transparency options okay so if suppose if you have a text in your file and other than that you can extract that alpha from that and uh, you can only see only the text or whatever your logo your graphics is there and it is supported by all 2d and 3d applications so you can use it uh, wherever you can take the images from photoshop and use in um, maya for textures it, it will work but uh, it's not uh, uh, that much used in the production and uh, this file format mostly used for making icons and uh, for user interfaces like if you make any application you can use this file format to uh, to add some uh, images or graphics inside your application user interface so that is good for that so now let's move to our final file format jpeg that stand for joint photographic experts group and this is very uh, this uh, JPEG file format is I can say that is very small in the file size and ideal for test renders and uh, play blast so if you want to render like around 15 version of any simulation or any test uh, animation you can you want to make some hundred of play blast no need to do TIFF or EXR because it use your lot of space for that okay because you just want to see your uh, uh, how your scene is going on how your simulation is going on so you can use jpeg file format for those kind of work once you are happy with that now you can proceed with that uh, expensive uh, file format like exr or tiff or whatever it's uh, also uh, uh, because uh, the file size is less because the compression that, uh, which is applied for this JPEG is uh, very uh, lossy compression and that help this uh, JPEG file format to compress and save the space and if you will do the compositing on JPEG image that will degrade the quality even further so suppose if you have like uh, some artifacts and uh, and some noise in your image and if you're going to add uh, that image into the three uh, compositing software and if you add some labels and after that some great color correction that will definitely increase that artifacts and noise so that will that is not good because you will not get uh, more color information in that because this image is already compressed but the good side is uh, this is very light file file format uh, it will not take too, uh, too much space in your disk and you can use this for your test render and play plus so these file formats only uh, these five file formats which i found which is often used in our vfx production and there are some other file formats uh, but uh, but i i feel like these five i can mention in this and also if you uh, like this video please subscribe this channel and also like this video i'll see you next friday